Netzchat. Hey guys, um, welcome back to another video. You know, girl, look, keep on camera. So, um, if you are seeing me for the second time without a hairstyle, I'm so Thanks sorry. Chance. I'm going two months without doing my hair. So, I must have apologized to everybody from the start because my hair not do, it just look bad. <clears throat> <laughs> but welcome to all the new subscribers on the channel. I see y'all. Yeah, my soon over there. I'm gonna do some good things. Big up to everybody who shot my out after that whole debacle. If y'all know, if y'all know what I mean, y'all know what I mean. But yeah, continue subscribing, sharing the content, and this season is going to be very fun. Hey, Daniel. Good evening. So, why are you talking Jai? Michelle. I, I just did a go on with this left move. No. I just did a go on good. Did I go on with myself? Hi, guys. I hope all of you are well. Follow me. No, that's a lie. Don't follow me on anything because I've closed up my pages and stuff like that. Don't follow me. That was a lie. But, follow Devon House J.A. and come by Devon House and you never know. You might see me just hanging out. But don't follow no, me she's on always anything. hanging out over there for truth. So. But no, but don't follow me on anything. Yeah, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's the worst message ever. Yeah, I'm gonna stop advertising my socials because I realize I advertise my socials and I'm locking up my page and I'm not accepting any requests. Oh yeah, yeah, so it's sense not to advertise honest. Yeah, so not, um, I put last week before last week episode when everybody rushed out, we talk about little menke ways and them said them sad or oh, we just nana sense and how far we gone. But I just say, because sometimes if you yam out before you can be the, the farmer, you know. You can be the, you have to be the yam before you be the farmer, you know. No. I'm glad my yam days behind me. <laughs> we don't even know which days meeting right now, but right now I'm just a cruise and a bruise my general. Um, you all right? Well, <laughs> Okay, Morals. so, guys, this topic is going to be when did you realize he hated you? <laughs> so, it is actually inspired from the tweet Olani made on Twitter. I said tweets. Um, Twitter, Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, so the tweets Olani made and people were responding to it. She got like over, like, I think it's probably over 50k answers. Yeah, like, that's not asked. The thread was sad, but some of them think them funny. Like, yeah, if, if you see a oh, man devil, man devil, like, there's no other like word to it describe It reminds many. me of when um, they did that thread. What has a man ever done to you? But that was a Jamaican specific thread. That was thread. a Jamaican specific thread, and that was busting out the door. No, I like, loved that. Like when the girl say, um, our boyfriend did say he might go to a foreign country and him go away and disappear and everything. Say my migrate, you know. And this is the same thread. Um, what Jamaican man ever do? Yeah, say him say my migrate and everything. And she said, like two months later, she said the boy in the town. And she had talked to him and he acted like he had amnesia and didn't know who she was. <laughs> Yo, like, that was actually very funny. Like, I mean, it, but that's not like, that's not like something that No, thing, but the so. thing is, like, one thing that I'll definitely say is a reoccurring theme in Jamaica is lying that you're migrating. What what is what is Jamaican's fixation on that? I'm remembering Lying a dear friend of mine said he was migrating and he was seen in crossroads. <laughs> like let that let that go. Like what is y'all obsession with? Oh my God, foreign! If you're not going, to, it's okay. I saw one. I'm time not going to foreign. Somebody, it's okay. Somebody tweets say, "Remember the girl who said she migrate, but you couldn't bother because I had her her." <laughs> It was a tweet on Twitter years ago, but I kept thought, thinking about it because your head hurts in you, so you say, me not about my I remember one time a friend made me and some other friends like have a whole thing sending him off and we all cried, me included. <laughs> <laughs> because if you know me, you know me and my male friends have a different type of love yes i have female friends yeah but my, me and my male friends have a different type of bond so when this boy told me he was going to leave netanya for school and then us the next the rest of the boys and me all of we are ball like big woman ball netanya and then he came back to school september i vomited like <laughs> how dare you you made me cry into the summer 
all for me to see you September. And he's just like, oh, my now, but I'm going to stay one more year in Jamaica. So couldn't you have said that before I cried? <laughs> What, what is this fixation with lying about planes? Jamaicans are so toxic. But my friend did that. We, everybody had a sending away party. We bow, we pray. For a, and she came back in September. She was like, I'm going to spend three more months. Didn't you guys beat her? We were very upset. <laughs> and then she didn't leave. We didn't leave. want to beat my she friend. She actually leave after the three months for true. She didn't oh, go away. My friend didn't leave after the year. Him still there now? No, he left maybe... A good while after. It wasn't... <laughs> it was a good while after. Me beat him, Trust me. Heart. And I honestly... I wanted him to square up for what he did to me. He made me cry into the hot girl summer. And for nothing. What? Hey, when we see him September, is that... You know, you ever see that yeah. here? No. I was so... <laughs> the shock... Your blood run cold. Go for the boy alive and well. Now let me think him that got dead. But that school of Jamaica... No, you take that they are foreign. Anyways. My girl. Yeah, really. Ja- to know. If they get him degree? <laughs> Listen. If they get him degree, me that upset. Will be, that story can be on another podcast about liar friends. Okay. Because <laughs> I have that. about 25 liar friends. Lot. I have so many friends that I've caught in so much lies and I don't even confront them because I realize that Jamaican people are also addicted to lying. So I don't even know if you guys realize that you're on a drug. So I just ignore <laughs> it. Move on. You know what? Let's move on. So... Um, what we're going to do, guys, is we're actually going to read a few of the tweets and they were also going to give our examples of when we realized that um, he, hated us. he hated us. And my I hate, not really stop with man, because all my father hate me too. Can you leave your dad alone? I'm not. We discuss this. Okay, do you want me to? Let's just start off, guys, because I've been telling Daniel, and a girl in the thread even said it. She was like, um, I was about to say something about my father, but I, thought, I saw y'all talking about um, boyfriends and husbands. So last night, I realized my dad hates me, guys. It was last night? Yeah. That's, that why, you, that's why I thought... <laughs> yes, it was last night. That's why I said that bunny attack. So one of my friends' mom got married. So mm-hmm. they were posting um, about the marriage because, you know, that my friend. Even though I was there at the time, but it's never going to go to the wedding. So I just saw the picture of them. Well, I saw the pictures already. But no, them just a post it on everything. Oh, okay, got it, got it. And um, I saw a picture with my friend. And her mother, and I was like, this is so nice. And then you get to see your mother married and everything. And... Then I was like, wait, my father is married. Mm-hmm. So guys, when I realized my father hated me is the way my dad got married and I was not invited to the wedding. And then I didn't know he got married until one day I saw him with the ring on his finger. My father never won a world now. And then the wedding. he showed me photos of the wedding and other people were there. Yeah, like, man, yeah, well done, literally. <laughs> <laughs> me, or, me or my sister wasn't there. Well done. Times and two. <laughs> the, the late, his friend was there. Um, um, relatives of my stepmother was there too, and I'm just like, Yo, Yo can you imagine your stepmother asking, Who you want to invite? And your father said, My oh, good, do you think? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm just they <laughs> even had a reception, I had photos of the reception. Daniel, this is so funny, and that's not yeah, guys. So, so that's when, like last night, I said, I'm gonna feel one, oh, yeah. I mean, I said, no, the thing is, me used to joke, but I said, for that, but then I realized that it was more traumatic than I thought it was. So then that's when I realized my father really didn't like me for true, but him saying just couldn't bother with the crowd. And how are me and my sister oh crowd God. with these kids? That, I'm not laughing, that's actually a very sad story. <clears throat> So guys, oh, that's my friend, my story. Chat, more people on podcast and them realize they're not invited to my wedding. And I got stuff my chest, so <laughs> Nigel. No, me just all right true. No, my friend, I'm going to tear me down. I'm going to after my wedding keep, the only friend I'm going to have, and then look at two ways and make me invite. So. Me and Kimon? I'm going to have people on my list. But honestly <laughs> speaking, you told us. the list, the list small. I wonder if me and some of them people here can follow, like more uh, pick fights. This morning, I called her and said, What if we can pick two fights with some of them girls here? Like maybe three months before the wedding. So, them vexed men, them nobody come. And then when them wedding passed, I said, Girl, we're bigger than this. I'm a friend them up back. Do it a month before. <laughs> it's so sure. No. Anyway, read the first one. I can't take him on. All right, guys. <clears throat> this one is pissing me off. It said, <laughs> You didn't start. I paid his rent because he could never keep a job. That's the first. Um, never will first I ever strike. because nigga, what would you have done if we weren't dating? You wouldn't have lived. That's crazy. You ever you never s- dated you seem, you seem hella dependent. Um, go stay with your auntie. Go stay with your auntie. 
The next day, he cheated on me with a girl he met at the currency exchange. This is where he was getting a money order with my money. She told me about it. I confronted him, and then he broke up with me because he said I wasn't having enough, having enough sex with him. No, you never have enough sense. You never have enough sense. Okay, so she pay, she buy my apartment, rent my apartment. Mm-hmm. Then she said him go to something on the road, and him yeah. cheap on Yes, yeah, so like the woman that is doing the money order at the exchange mm-hmm. place, him a look she... And then she sleep with him, sleep with him, and then tell the girl about it. She so messy. when when <laughs> she when, him con- when she confronts him about what he did, he broke up with her and said, "Yes, yeah, cause you're not having enough sex with me." But I mean, say no, but he overlooked everything I'm and amazing. went to this. The- <laughs> <laughs> I know I would end up with something. No, then you must start choking. No, hey. I mean, I put him out of my apartment because he's mine. It's mine. Yeah. No, but honestly, no, you have to go stay with your auntie because Miss Kitty never said that thing, you know. Where were you? Where were you before me? Why has it meet me? All kind of destruction reach by you. <laughs> you want me to pay for this and that. Your life, my show. Yeah, what your life Wait, just come to unless, this way? Unless he was just stalking me out. Yeah, maybe that's I uh, see as a financial opportunity. So mm. him just go looking. But the for thing me, is, a lot of people meet. do look at people as financial opportunities, and when them sister the person willing, them say them well, take advantage of them. But I'm saying, how did you not live anywhere before? Oh, may I meet? Furthermore, listen, I never want to give myself money. I'm on time when me get my pay. Much less to go take care of somebody. And then they're going to give me. But anyway, f- first of all, I'm put it out the same day. So, <laughs> you're, not, you're not even going to get a chance to explain. So, you wouldn't apartment. even get a chance to break up with me. Because from the girl, tell me. Well, if. I call a mover truck. I'm a mover. <laughs> call you little, all. There's like two things I want you to have. Come and show you not have not much in that house. If you can't afford to pay rent, why are you doing No, I remember when I was in high school, my friend delivered her mother. And she and her mother couldn't agree enough, you know. So she said, you know what, I'm going to live with my father. And her mother said, all right. So she said, pack your bag. So my friend started packing her bag. And her mother said, where you going with them some of them? She was like, my take my things. My mother was like, your father won't ever buy you two things in her life. Right? And I let them two things that you're going to take up and go in my yard. So if you want to go your father's yard, you can't buy carry none of the things them when my wife she went back in her room and just humbled herself the, and that's how we do them except he had nowhere to go humble but on the streets next no, go humble beside the trash can girl move mm-hmm. um when he told me to my face you like me too much <laughs> if I nigga said that to me me that said say, me that said bet bet just say test me boy bet who like you? The thing anyway, is, I feel test. So I don't want anybody to test me. When he told me to my face, you like me too much, never invited me to gatherings where we had mutual friends, only got inv- invited over at night secretly, and after taking my virginity, he left me at his house alone and went to work, and then later made up with one of my friends. <laughs> this is a roller coaster. This took me on a trip. <laughs> yes. Like, we started here, and they would yeah, go here so, and they would really, come back alone. With, you know, it's with the loop. really like... Crazy, but good. I think that is very telling when people don't want you around their mutual friends and family. No, it kind of it sets the tone about how they feel about you. Yeah, you're not, so you're yeah, not not, you're not gonna carry me everywhere, but you can't ever say, "See the drunk crowd, they are my drunk crowd." That see the dark shit, they are my dark shit. That like nothing. You can't post me, Elbo. No, men are just very telling overall. So you can really look at things about them to see if they like it. Yes or That's no. the thing, you know, like I remember somebody saying And no that, man not um, link up with me at night only. Me a pato. Go on, yeah. No, I don't <laughs> sell sex. Yeah, I don't sell sex. I wouldn't be meeting up with men only at night time. And I'm also not in twilight. I'm not a vampire. You know, see, me and um, car coming knows when blood come in. Like, I don't do that. But I'm just saying, right... I had an idea. A lot of people say, oh, you know, I never know. I said, boy, did it me. And I said to my friend last night, just last night, there's so many signs that men show, even if it's not towards you directly, that you are overlooked because either you're infatuated or because it never happened to you. Yeah, I said, well, that happened to me. And I, I said to my friend, <clears throat> well, I'm saying it now, friend. Look at the track record of what this person do other people oh yeah people always think oh i can't change them we don't want to change no unless it's unhappy let's go move on next question but i feel like that man evil and i feel like once a man wants to spend like nights with you i feel like a, i feel like a man leaving you at his house to go to work and then making out with your friend just seems wild so why me. am i your friend work at the same place and where him even meet up with the friend yeah where am i link up like, like and i'm there at your house waiting on you like a real egg panel anyways 
People have made a male. Anyway, I've seen like, time and time again, men me. are not worth it. So. Do not leave me at the house. If I carry over there, I'm a thief. I will rob you. It's because enough man leave my name because I'm going to get robbed yet. But you'll be the difference. I'll be the difference. <laughs> I, will, I will steal. So, oh, God. I, you know, I never, Zen has never left me at his house until I started to live there because he's like, that's so strange. You're not a helper. Or, you must no, but I'm so saying. It's so weird to just oh leave God, it there by yourself. Helper, do you remember when the boy tweets uh, the girl used to left from Kingston, come on, my baby, for washing clothes and get to her. $1,000. Uh, it hurt me at night. <laughs> it's something that makes me wake up on time for go to work. It's I actually that I never think forget. about it from time I to time. I think about it too often, actually. Yeah. No, boy, I can't have me as an Anyways. No, but I'm saying, like, the thing is, why men, when they're ready for meet up, them say, you can't come on my yard? No. Because when they you come... You never go out yet. When like, I leave, I'm leaving with your bed. Why we can't go somewhere? Well, we're for, yeah, we're off the inside. Like, we're be, it, it's so Mary strange there. to me. And how, you, how, your, how your, your, home your home is house? supposed to be like a sanctuary. Safe space. Sorry. So like, you're just inviting everybody. Not saying that I'm just anybody, but really we just start talking. So how you just want me to come to your no, home? No, but your home is supposed to be like a safe space, a sanctuary, a haven. I uh, invite devil you, inside. You invite you know which people? come from? Like, you know, if me I walk look over or anything, like, you just want to say, come in, girl. Uh, come in, girl. And you, you know, if me I come with two man. Like beard, nah. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> and then two man, you have them, them, them rifle. And then the old ready to stick you about the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. We're too trusting. And then them say them salt. But. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this guy tweet, say, uh, I mean, if I want girl over him, always and him got bail and she teeth out him tin sausage. That's good. She should have teeth the house. And can't beef, sorry. Mm. And, and I feel like that's good. She that's really just, positive. That's, yeah, that's because you don't know her. That's the best takeaway. Why go to the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, you don't know her. Like, you should have carried the bathroom with you. And come for Or something. you could have gone to a restaurant, Devon House. Devo- yes. Carry yes. the sheets. Ca- yeah, only carry people on the yard too quick. <laughs> Anyways, I called to let him know some guy was following me on my way home from work. He didn't answer, so I texted him and told him what happened. And he responded, oh, my bad. He didn't even ask if I was okay. He didn't call back. Safe to say that man hated me. If somebody doesn't care about your safety. 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 They hate you. Yeah. But because even when Netanyahu goes home, I'm like, you reach home? You're all right? Because I'm wearing I'm not telling friends. everybody to reach home. Cause I want yeah, Netanyahu is, is horrible at telling you that you reach home. So I forget. Netanyahu, they woman cook up our big foot and they must snack. And I you let a fair text, are you good? You're all right. But like, if somebody don't check say, on you. Yeah, home 30 minutes ago, you know? <laughs> if somebody don't check on you though, to make sure that you're okay, which is kind of like bare minimum. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know him. when men hate you, like for real? When, them, when you're there with them and they make you any money. Um, that's a hate crime. Um, yeah. Oh, when your man never compliment you. Oh, yes. yes. Some of these men are like your biggest haters. And I saw a girl say, if your man can't compliment you and he never do it, he, he's a hater, not he, your man. He a hater. But if your man give you money for true and no good, good day, I'm not talking about like schoolboy. Really if it's a school, school, the, schoolers. The lack of compliments like that, that no If it's a schoolers, then they can't understand. They can't work around But your man will go work every your day and never give you $5. And if, I think if something is wrong. You know, like, especially like, you know, a lot of women have sex with men. And like if something like throw off them page balance or like go off in them, yeah, them pay for them own. Doctor. And them pay for them own doctor. I mean, I said I'm not like them somebody because I know me I push nothing on myself. And if me that do it, and uh, you know, man must say them woman got a doctor and them thing there for check up and you know. Yeah, must say like and just general upkeep. And this is not mm. me saying that women mustn't take care of themselves. I'm gonna say. On that bird app, I mean, no, no, yeah, but I yeah, I'm not be, saying women aren't supposed to take care of themselves, themselves but, but I feel like if you're, you might have to find yourself one day. Like it should be mutually beneficial. Like if we, why are we dating and you can't even give me a thing? Like, so, so, like I'm and down you know, in the I, dumps. I'm giving, I would have give you a thing. So why you can't give me a thing? I don't like that. Yeah, because I'm not saying that like, your man supposed to give you money and just lay down and just go on and sleep. I don't know. Not, 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 not worry. I don't know. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what we're saying. It's the least, man. But sometimes my man will look at you and say, babe, they don't say this ever money. What no, but, but my thing is like, men were always like supposed to be the providers and stuff. And, and go war and dead. And from man stop below, son stop fight war. Like, the world in this arena. Check the stats. From man stop go war and, and build house. house. 
The Me, world you know just got broke. Men telling. sit down on podcasts and trash other women. I see it all the time. Like when they post a foreign podcast, them and they're doing up the women, them. And I'm like, God. We've never done that on the podcast. No, <laughs> I've never seen a local male podcast That's do that. Bo- but the foreign ones, them, oh my God. May I say God? If but nowadays, man, all them do is chat and that's why the world mash up. It's just men talking. It's really destroying the globe. And honestly speaking, if we can nip this in the bud and send them back to war, so tell them back to Afghanistan con- and back to construction. We'll take, we'll take some of the man them. We're out here and now they don't send them down as Zozo. Send them down there, go do something. No, but like... Send them a country, go build, build up some housing development. When man I go, <laughs> the result is what's happening the in the world The nation is right deteriorating. Now. I swear, at Next an alarming one. rate. When I planned an all-expense-paid trip for his birthday and he decided not to get on the plane at the last minute, <clears throat> he told me while I was already on the plane and on route to location, when I got upset, he told me it was my fault for planning the trip in the first place. First of all... He never show up on the plane and she'd already did it. When him said, then he blamed her for planning the trip in the first place. What that mean? Me I think a free trip, you know? Right now, if somebody said, girl, I could go down um, um, Portland. Or said, girl, I could go down Oracle. The fact Orca that there are b- beautiful women who are willing to pay for a full trip for a man and the least he has to do is appear and he still didn't do that. But I don't know how to somebody, but the man paid for the trip and then he just did not show up. Oh, that happened to a friend of mine as well. Because what happened was his wife Never was mind. following... Oh! <laughs> no. That happened to a friend of mine. So the man invited her to a hotel and she bought her lingerie and all these things. Yes, lingerie. No, but I come cut me up and to talk on the boring. Yeah. Our, she bought up her lingerie and everything. Excited for the trip. And he was supposed to... You know, so this is a hell of a story. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> hold on. He was supposed to pick her up to take her down. And then he didn't. And she was waiting and calling and calling and calling. He's like, you know what? Meet me. You can't take the bus. And she took the bus. So then she asked somebody to drive her to St. Elizabeth. She drove to St. Elizabeth. And then from there, she took the bus with her luggage to the hotel to meet the man. When she got there to meet the man, he wasn't there because he couldn't be because his wife was following his location on his phone, so he had to throw her off. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? To spend the whole trip by herself? Yeah, didn't she go back home? She left him. Anyways. No, she did not. Let's All right, go. let's press on. <laughs> he sent me a video of him fingering another girl while we were dating. Was it for education? I feel like it was educational purposes. Martin, please. No, no, because clearly it has to be something him thinks I should enjoy. You no, know, I'm going to get up and just do that honest MC. Did you not hear Denny last story when her boyfriend's in her ear, Nikki Pichon? You know, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Men are cooking abusers. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even know Hello. how I did. When our heart like you in the 80s, in. men was the main consumer. <laughs> and then it passed down through bloodstream because there's no way. I feel like men do crack even if it's not willing. Somebody are old them with a gun. <laughs> I said, pussy, take this. Ch- but like, something is wrong. Mm-mm. What's the next word? I was in my bed for hours, sobbing my eyes out because of my mental illness. And he sat in his desk that was right next to the bed, put in his headphones so he couldn't hear me cry and played video games for the entirety of that time. And only turned to pay attention to me when he was horny. <laughs> I really have no comments because the fact that play a video game the entire time. The fact that we know men is something that's um, <laughs> affecting me. Like, no, why is everyone in the room laughing? Because this is very awkward. Incident. No, the fact that we even know men is just something that's not sitting well with me. You know, it really bothers me to know men for real. Like, why are men a thing? Like, is this something that we can cancel? And how do we go about it? Who do, who do I report this to? Can I report men? Like... I feel like the higher authority doesn't myself to just send them back a worker when they come back dead. <laughs> we we'll keep some for them and salute. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, you know what? Let's hear your stories of when you Yeah, know because this. Yeah, man, did eat a this. Hmm, when did I know that a man hated me? Like, you know, I was walking today, I was thinking about how I really never liked a guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why I said that. <laughs> 
the reason, <laughs> the reason why I say it in my is because I was walking and thinking about how for the last six years, like anybody that has dated me has heard me talk about Zen for hours and I've had a, been so obsessed with Zen the whole time or secretly talking to Zen. So I'm, I'm like, did I even like those niggas? Like I didn't even care. If them did have other women just I live my best life. So did I really like these men? Channel. You know what? Let me tell you a story of when I realized <laughs> a guy hated me. I hate them. <clears throat> but go ahead. <laughs> I have many. Um, so uh, the one I can't remember now. The few I can't remember now. I'm just a good one. I was talking to this guy and we were going on good, you know, we know until I met the boy, the good, good. And I just thought about one. You know, we went to his house and we do do do. Them telling me a young, mm-hmm. fresh girl. I was a teenager at the time. And, yeah, so, you know, the next day, we also went to the same school. All right? Mm-hmm. Comedy left high school long time, guys, so it's not no... Boy, my meet, I took her to a road. And then I was like, oh, my God, you know, we should just, you know, like, hang out at your house and stuff. He was like, no. So I was like, what do you mean I've been to your house before? He's like, yeah, but you came to my house for sex, and I don't carry girls to my house if it's not for sex, if you want to chill. We can stay in public, like, I don't need to have a house outside of that. Mama, he hates me. <laughs> and then I was like, really? He's like, yeah, because what else are we going to do at my house? And I'm like, we can yeah. part. <laughs> no, like, my heart is breaking. Uh, when I knew this man hated me, um, so I was talking to this guy. I and no, I don't ever know that I dated this person. And he has, you know... Blocked me and everything, and I respect that. But when my mom got sick, and like I was really emotional about it, because I mean, I would have probably shared on podcasts or on my channel that when my mom got sick, it was really emotional because my mom has never been sick before. Mm-hmm. So it was not somebody that you expect to be sick, you know? So it was really shaking me up because my mom and me are like best friends. And the guy was just like, You'll be okay now, my mother dead. So really and truly, if your mother dies, not that big of a deal. Like people's mom die all the time. Like, why are you being so dramatic about it? And in that dramatic? moment, in that moment, I realized he didn't even want me to have a mom. <laughs> he hates me. Like that boy. <laughs> the boy said, say your mother being. Why are you laughing so much? <laughs> because I can't believe I dated this clown. Like this fool. Are you nuts? <laughs> I hope you see this. I swear, you're so dumb. He's just like my mother did, and I'm doing great. My mother did because really? I try to get away from him. You know, same <laughs> right, terrible because he's horrible. <laughs> so your mom was trying. Your mom was trying to escape you. Oh my but God. me and my mom were good friends. <laughs> like Nathaniel, I need you to understand. Like I was, I think I was even going to the hospital, and the boy's telling me this. So he must say if she did, I just so he's like, you'll get over it, you know. And I said, man, tell me, he's like, you'll get over it, you know, it's not that big of a deal, like, people's mom be dying all the time. I'm like, oh my God. And then when my mom died, I couldn't help but think of him killer. <laughs> <laughs> I probably even truth. I probably even truth. No, it's, 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 no, it's not a lie, like. I believe Sam right name from a party. You know, Sam, because honestly. Martin, how much time left in the car? I believe I should. No, no more story, but people no, say. No, we gotta go. Oh, me. We gotta terrible. Go. Mm-mm. What? Oh, 15 minutes. Martin, we're, it's we're 15 minutes in? No, you're half Oh, no, 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 we have to we'll continue. We, we, right. You won't continue? <laughs> no, I'm saying we we'll have to continue for true. Right, let me no, get next men, story, guys. No, men. Okay, oh, let's, let me give you an instance. Come on, what is something I talked about them on podcast, you know, last time? Them text me phone, I'm going to talk about this thing. I'm going to talk about my channel, them. I saw it go. Anyway... <clears throat> That's like one name, but what is Let's it? move on from that and let me give you the scenario. Let's say it's a man's birthday, right? <laughs> you go out to your way, buy the boy gift. You buy him mm-hmm. one cake. Yeah, come here, cooking. No, you, you love her with Yeah, man, cooking. <laughs> 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 so it's only ready for cooking, love a man. Yeah. Honestly. Come on, it's a cooking. Yeah, man, cooking. Yeah, man, cooking. Yeah, so you buy one cake, you write him one letter, one unwritten letter, mm-hmm. you know? Junky. And you got a boy was going upon him. Mm-hmm. Then he will show up like five or six hours later. Are you? No, you're a cocaine abuser. <laughs> <laughs> you are a cocaine abuser. You know, it's so as simple as you see it, you're something wrong with you. 
No boy can't come somewhere 15 minutes later to me. Yeah, man. I'm an important girl. Me? I can't you. You want me done you? I can't you. Five or six hours later, so I don't have no house. work. No school. So, I don't have a house. I <laughs> don't have a house. You must be, you must right, be dreaming. Fine. And then when he comes, he give a knowledge of, right? Anyway, I'm going to watch burn show. Down the oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> and then you're like, you know what you came for? And he's like, oh, yeah, sure. I don't really like birthday, but okay. And then, fast forward, all of that. <clears throat> the boy and I eat the cake and tell the same dash it way. What would you do? Fatty. Boy, you're going to buy this. Is that a trick question? <laughs> So I've been waiting five or six hours for the boy for come home. I can't take 30 minutes to go back and eat Yeah, I'll go beat him. <laughs> in mother, there, in my mother, my beating mother. Because I fear her fault. Because she really grim for really. First of all, she grim for eight birthday. Second of all, she grim for eight cake. And third of all, she grim for have the audacity. How do I bust them ass? Like, honestly speaking, like, what do you mean? Just like. <laughs> It's been five or six hours. So you think just for that day, that's yeah. a work day. I said no? just for the that's the thing I gonna be there. Yeah, that's a work no, like, day. Five or six hours is actually a work day for June. Hello. So that young lady out there, whoever you are, listen. You guys have to. Give, I have no comment. First of all, you guys have to give Coke a break because <laughs> speaking, you guys are taking it too far. Yo, I used to say crack as a kid. Because, no. When I was going to you. So why you never bring that up in the craziest thing you've ever done for a man? Because that is nuts. Five to six hours? No, but the Did you read is, a book? No, I'm telling I you. I hope you weren't. Listen. The thing is, I never remember that story until the other day my friend was asking me something. And it just flashback. <laughs> yes. I for, as a person, I remember so hard. Like, guys, my son and I were there, but they just ate me. And I don't Remind think anybody friend, could have ever convinced me friend, otherwise. Friend, I'm not going to tell nobody to say you. Right, so I would not and ask me to go bust it to you. Nobody not gonna say you friend, but I have to talk it. They have one friend, or they have one little boyfriend. We thought he was a very nice guy, and he never seemed cheaty, cheaty. They never Anyways, <laughs> he had a whole other girlfriend that went to my high school. So my friend, same birthday, <laughs> buy cake and everything, ready for go down a boy yard, and him actual woman. He couldn't meet up with my friend because his actual woman planned a day for him and they went out. So here's my friend, Cake and no man. And she had like a total asthma attack. You remember, so you did have the asthma attack over there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I want to ask you this. Is there anywhere crack I sell? Keep my far. I want to be so far from crack. Cocaine, like it have a mix, it sprinkle. No, honestly speaking, though, guys, like let's be real. Like none of this <laughs> though, okay, no. Like me know me a laugh, but it's not okay. No, but the thing and is, my friend was so frightened; she had no clue. Him had a girlfriend, and and the, I don't know and why the girlfriend was just like I'm his about? wife. And all of us are they still together now? I hope. Um, I hope they're still together because she did really come on strong from a friend. And my friend was devastated, and I couldn't hold back the laugh. I was the worst friend, girl. I'm no, so are. sorry. No, but for real, it didn't really sweep me. Come here, say, imagine a boy, boy, cake, and boy gone out. You know me that go to? Me that must find them. <laughs> find them too. Me that ruin must... day. Like, literally, guys, that used to be me. I used to be so spiteful. Me gonna I'm going to ruin your day. I don't know, but sometimes, like, every, time you go, every time you go all out for a man's birthday, though, I feel like something bad happened. I feel like it's bad luck. I feel like men should be going all out for us. Because anytime you go all out for a man's birthday, him fumble the bumble. Like something half a happen. I always end up dating men who don't like birthdays. So Yeah. Um, I, so I, like this, birthdays, so. I was talking to this guy. Yeah, a good start. And I did take a picture with him on his birthday. But it's like you can't see him face. Right? Mm -hmm. But we could have seen him shirt. So then I posted it on my Instagram stories and then him said, Well, I'm not gonna post a picture for the day. And I'm like, What do he you him? And I was like, What do you mean? No, he, he like, hate, no, stop, he hates him. <laughs> I was about you. <laughs> Why do you hey, hate me? Man, eat me with you. <laughs> What's I feel like men are taking revenge on me because <laughs> I say I don't like men. No, I will come cheat so much other man. When did you realize you ate man? Not when them ate we are when you ate them. Oh, when did I realize that I hated men? When my first love and my quote unquote fiance broke up with me to see if I could do without him and then wanted to get back with me a few months after another cocaine abuser and he did not stop 
asking me to date him back and get married to him and i'm like no because you are a nutcase you broke up with me and had me devastated to teach me a lesson well the lesson is on you i can't wait to post my wedding picture then the lesson is really on you i hope you learned you're around too much damn tons i'm not too full at him make me sure that me eat man my love <laughs> right trauma i'm a man stress me up my dear my man, I'm going to come nice and sweet and easy for deal with like my sweet, sweet man. Go boo. No one a man problem right now. You know, so the world like, and people are by planet and people are got space, my love. But now I'm going to stress me out. You crazy? You crazy? Okay, so my question is... And Earth he, Agwan, sir? He just left you to see if he can do without him. Yeah. And then when he saw me doing without him, he's just like, oh, it was just, I was just trying to teach it. Were they at school? This I don't after, know. And he broke up with me. Like two days or a day before Valentine's Day. Do you know how that hurts a little girl? Oh my God, remember when we talk about that? When man left them home before Valentine's Day and just not going to buy a gift, girl. I, 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 said I did it. so many things in preparation for that Valentine's Day. Wait, I was you, you so sad. I was sad for real, you know? And looking back, I'm like, they big and done seeing and unless for the word sad. But for real though, like I was devastated, Netanya. Mm, because all of my friends had little boyfriends for Valentine's. And I had nothing... <laughs> you have to give them. Yes, he said, oh. That's sweet <laughs> name. No, 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 for years, I had this man's last name as my last name on Facebook. Would Facebook allow me to change it back? So that's why my name on Facebook right now is just Danny Renee because Facebook was saying I could not change my last name from that man's last name. So that's why I do have a last name on Facebook. And that's how come I've just called myself Danny Renee so long. Come Facebook wouldn't allow me to have no last name. So I've always just been Danny Renee on Facebook. What a disgrace. Like, I'm sorry, I'm it, man. I mean, there are many instances, but this is the one that stand out. One time, my man, at a time, I said to him, <clears throat> more of a myth. Sorry. Why? I haven't said anything yet. Because I hate I, Something happened, and I said to him, um, do you like, it? something happened with another girl. Oh, I was yeah. like, do you like this girl, like, on the same level that you like me, or like, when I'm asked, I said, I'm going to crack again. Mm -hmm. Or like, you like her more. He's like, I don't know which one of you guys I like more. And I'm just like, You're substance abusers. <laughs> which one? Me or him? The both of you. Yes. You guys are sharing it. And so, Martin, yeah, Martin, Martin, this is him Martin. Take up, him take off. I said, You <laughs> take off. So, we say so. So, as me, you go so, you just go the next way too. Because it has to be crack. Why would I be asking questions like that? And then he said that he doesn't know. And I'm like, Men are shit. And then, there was an event where all of us were, and he introduced her to his family. <laughs> <sighs> Guys, I suppress a lot of these stories. Maybe not all of my surface now. It's because I dig deep into my inner um, trauma. Did he want to? Hear? Let me tell you something about me. <laughs> Glad my liquor would not keep. Let me tell you the truth about me. I never want yeah, to I've date again. <clears throat> I never want to date again. I'm glad that Zen swooped me up from the streets because there's no dating pool in Jamaica. If I go back in a Jamaica dating pool, I'm rather drone. I, are you crazy? It's pretty rough for the dudes too. No, man. Yes, yeah, I can't imagine for the for Somebody the guys said, as um, well. the dating pool in Jamaica have piss in it. <laughs> no, hold on. No, I was laughing at first, but then Martin scream out. <laughs> No, but for real though, the dating pool in Jamaica is actually quite bleak. Somebody mm. says a dating puddle. <laughs> like, when they must have a dating pool on Twitter, I'm glad I'm going to date, and it's not because I'm taken, it's because I don't want to date. I don't think it's something you should participate in. It's really <laughs> broke. Mm -hmm. And the men who I'd like to date have kids, and I don't date men with kids, so hence I don't date. Mm -mm, mm -mm, and all mm -mm. men have kids. Men with kids. Them just hide them. Ask them about in Pitney. You know, if my husband to be told me he had a kid, I would break up with Zen. <laughs> to show you how I don't do kids yeah. and I'm unapologetic about it I've, I was hold on, no, I've day, been in love with him I was talking to this guy I met online no, there's not anything serious enough, but my same cutie him about buzz so then one day he was sending me a voice note and I heard one cartoon in a background and I'm like this grown ass phone. nigga watching this cartoon I'm like I say it can't happen, but this not this one like a Coco Melon type of cartoon. Cause I used to watch Coco Melon with my um cousin. She's like one. So I'm putting on and make sure I watch it on Man of the Day. I watch it. So I said, no man, this sounds strange. Anyway, so I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm just gonna watch. 
And then he posted something to his close friends. You know what? I'm adding him adding them close friends, you know. Posting them close friends, guys. And I want him to start go up. I never responded to a message after that. Woman officer to him. I don't like baby mother drama. So yeah, they with the baby mother, you just leave me alone. No, but honestly though, like if my man like my own a man today, I'm plan for marrying. So to me, say, about you? I said, John, I was in, so look how we're going good. <laughs> no. I'm going to just tell mommy, and then make your sister bye, and Lisa. tell them that I loved being related to them for all of five minutes, but I'm out, and wish them <laughs> and that kid great. Me not, not, I'm me not, not doing that. Stars. And people that say, oh, God, I didn't... No. Oh, God, what? The people that say, oh, God, did I really throw away your relationship? But yeah, yeah. I would. Eagle him, so... Where are the man have to talk about no. after that? No, <laughs> I'm not buying a Bobby socks. I'm not getting about no lunch money. I'm really just not interested in your so. kid or your little dirty foot baby mother. Go ahead. Is it the same when the genders are flipped? Oh, just hold on. No, if we breathe, if we breathe, I'm in a marriage. I'm not date. First of all, I'm not breathing and I'm married because a man not left me with no little neglect <laughs> and, and 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 just so. So you have to make a serious commitment for me for me to go down at Andrew's hospital. So first of all, I'm not getting pregnant if I'm not married. One. If I breed, Two, I breed, if know. I breed, let's say, by some unfortunate event. Cause that kid, if you're watching this, that would be unfortunate if you came at my ceremony and I keep no flop my life. Anyways, if I get pregnant for somebody and we don't work out, I'll take one for the team. I won't date. I don't want nobody to date me. Because people are like, wouldn't you want somebody to take up your child? No. Put us down. I will take care of my kid. I'm, mo- I'm, no, no, I'm more no, than capable. Me of something. I'm fine. One boy did. Last year, this guy um, messaged my Instagram. So I was looking. I'm cute. It's a cute bad, But not like brown man. So, you know. No, so we're it's talking. cute when I'm a pitney. And then I saw this like name in his bio with a heart. So I said, don't want to pray me. With it. So I said, I'm going to pray me. I'm a woman with us. And I'm going to message me. And I said, you know. So I said, you're bright. Oh, yeah, message me. And your woman name. And I He's like, it's my daughter. Even worse. That worse. And you like, wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know. So that worse. See? Worse than that. And then, but you know, then, one woman. then pitney big, you know. Like once a pitney pass, two... Really if your it. kid is more than two days old, I'm not. <laughs> no, why you have a kid though? Yeah, and it's not with me. But then he's like, You're I so want rude. To... Like how I'm, I, I don't no, want to have a kid like... with any like random nigga on Instagram. Like no, but if you want me that seriously, oh yeah, I'll pick me on a whole other life. Let me say no. Men so and the their man... baby mothers will always be connected, yes. no matter how they say. Oh, me me like me like me 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 unless. Unless the baby is like... Unless the baby is over five. <laughs> no, if it hit me, there with a man and me and him left, I'm going to pick me. I don't know him after that, you know? I'm yeah. good. No, I'm sure that I'll be able to take care of my child. I I'm not going to cut him. I'm, I'm not talking about the child's life, you know? I'm not yeah. do that. I'm not doing that. But it's just I, I don't, don't know who that is. He can take him daughter whenever he can take her. What am I saying? My daughter, like, said my girl. Like a child exists. Just, just a child, miss. <laughs> the, that little kid. Yeah. You know? But nah, bro. My girl said on the two side, then we're not dating. We have the pit me. We're not dating. Yeah, we're not unfair. So the kids are unfair. Yeah, we're not unfair. One so thing about you, we're not gonna want to come pick me up and yeah, me go and hold it like a real dream by myself. I mean, they're making rose vibrators now, like. And for them, we're like, we really need a man. Know, I feel like men always. A lot of not always men. A lot of times when they step into your life and step up, they mash it up. Them, oh. them try to like do things to your children or like abuse your children. So I'm straight. Too. I'll keep my kid. By no, myself. somebody even wants him more right now. Come on, get in hand, guys. Thank yes. you so much for <laughs> watching. Cause then he'll go raise my blood pressure, and I hate. No, but you do it to me all the time. I hate like You're people abusing kids. Like I do. Period. Um, Jamaica, I'm I'm you. So right through. All if. We just want to see how I do. We need to have another yeah, opinion. Yeah, do, right? We need to have another opinion. Don't but, have um, Guys, anything. comment below when you realize your father, your boyfriend, your crush. When did you realize he hated yeah, you? Yeah, and then when did you realize you hated men? Mm-hmm. Um, so, because we have to just keep it balanced on the two sides. You know, we're not going to just diss up the man them. Mm-hmm. Even though that's what we did most of the time. I'm but fine with that. I'm at peace. Nathan that's isn't. okay. Um, I'm at peace. I'm at war. And the only time me at war is when I'm at invite me in safe space because nothing nothing safe about me. Um, <laughs> guys, yes, remember to subscribe, share with your friends, and enjoy the rest of your Friday. Per bye, guys.